Hey guys, what is going on? Fat Boy from Zergrino Sports here. And today we are back with some more AC Milan career mode. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the table here. Uh, we are ninth on eight points. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have a point, uh, we have a game in hand on Inter. So, if, with a win in this game, we could go ahead of Inter, which is big for me because, you know, there are rivals. Uh, but yeah, in this episode, we have three games. We have a game against Palermo, Bologna, and Cagliari. And uh, here I adjust the lineup for the game. And I think I decide to give Poli a run out. And... No. I gave Nocturino. I let Nocturino play. That is my bad. Uh, and I believe, I'm pretty sure that uh, Palermo is Nocturino's old club. So here Nocturino plays... Montalivo through. I tried to sweat it across to Balotelli, but he couldn't finish it, which was unlucky. And that's how it, we go into halftime. Nil-nil. And, uh... Yeah, there you can see the halftime results and stuff. But, uh, we were unlucky not to score there. And there I put it in attacking because we really needed to get our wins up. El Shirawi and Koke combining there. Koke just gets past that defender. He cuts inside. He has a shot, and then Balotelli heads it, but he didn't get enough power on the header, and the keeper grabbed it. Then Nocerino wins the ball, and Balotelli has a shot, and the keeper with the very good save, and that is three missed opportunities for Balotelli now. But then Kakao whips it in, and El Shadawe heads it into the back of the net, bottom right corner, to give us the lead in the 82nd minute. And uh, I can actually read the stuff now before... Um, my gameplay and stuff was all pixely, like, uh, in the preview screen. But now it's clear, so hopefully it stays like that. That way it'll be easier for me to, um, commentate. But that was a very good goal by El Sharawe. Very good header into the bottom right corner. He headed it down, which is what you're supposed to do because it makes it more difficult for the keeper to save. And that is how the game ends 1-0 to us. And, uh, I, we did deserve the goal. I mean, the win... Uh, cause as you saw, Balotelli was actually very unlucky that game. He had three big chances and he missed, uh, he didn't miss, but he didn't score all of them. There you can see Juventus drawing with Nap, uh, Genoa. And here we get a scout report from Spain and I decide to, uh, re uh, scout Fabrice Olinga and Sergi Roberto because I believe they are both good players in this game. I think I've uh, heard or seen somewhere that they're good players uh, in the future. And uh, here we go into the game against Bologna. And uh, this game, I, d I think I decided to play a few... Um, younger players because like I said in the last episode I'm trying to do that more uh now with my uh with the less important games because I do want to um as you can see there I rested Balotelli I played Dos Santos and all that um and here I go back in because I wanted to put Yanuzai on the bench and then that little glitch happens where if you try and switch players in the uh, preview screen for the game, it freezes pretty much and you have to just keep pressing back. But here, El Shirawe gets played through and he can't finish. He shoots it just wide uh, and that was a very big chance. Gabbiadini doing well to find Sedorf, who found him and he just couldn't finish it. So we should have been up 1-0 here. Uh, I don't know who that is. But he passes it to Montolivo, who has a shot, and that's a very good save by Bologna's goalkeeper. And uh, they cross it in and have a header, which gets saved. And then Nastasic blocks the rebound. But then there's some more confusion. Another shot, and Nastasic blocks that shot again. Then El Shirawe finds Montolivo, who finds El Shirawe, who somehow gets past the defender and slots it into the bottom right corner to put us up 1-0 in the 45th minute. Uh, that was some good play between 
uh, Montalivo and Elsha, but uh, I really don't understand how he got past that defender. Um, I, I see that he made a tackle, but I really don't get how he got past him. I'm not complaining because I got a goal, and that's how we go into halftime. We go in 1 0 up. But uh, on world class, you'd expect the defenders to make better challenges in that situation, would you not? <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, here, uh, their player does some sick moves, and then he gets lucky, and then he has a shot. I think that's Bake Triore. I think that's the Triore that I sold to them, I th to be honest, in the first season. Uh, but he shot wide, and then Aquafresca gets the ball and hits the post, so we are very lucky not to go 1-1 there. And then El Shirawe, he stopped for some reason, then he got the ball somehow, and then he passed it to Monto, who passed it to De Santos, and he hit the post. And then, uh, I believe that's not Torino, who couldn't do anything with the uh, rebound. But uh, that's how the game ends, 1-0, and that is our second win in a row. Which is good, we're starting to pick up the uh, results there. El Shirawe getting man of the match, I think for the second time in a row. I'm not too sure. Um, I think it is the second time in a row. And here, uh, it appears that Mexes is homesick, I believe, because he did not come to training to visit friends and family. So, um... It appears that he is homesick, which is bad. And here's another scouting report from uh, Spain. And uh, I like the look of this no-no guy because of his short passing being his strengths and stuff like that. And because I, I like midfielders because in real life I'm a midfielder so I can, you know... When I see good midfielders, I'm like, oh yeah, I like this guy. Like, his strengths are what I look for in a midfielder and stuff like that. So... Yeah, we uh, we scout some players in there, and now we have another Spain uh, scout report. Uh, we had two in a row. Um, if you're wondering why there haven't been any other scouting reports in this episode, it's because I didn't keep any of the players from the other countries because they just weren't um, interesting me here. You see, we're fifth uh, with a game in hand on the second place team, and. Um, which is Inter once again, so if we could win this, we could go above Inter. Uh, here we are away to Cagliari, and uh, we are playing them, obviously. Uh, here we make some changes to the lineup. I believe I do rest a few players, and I play a few... Uh, here that glitch happens again where it freezes and you have to back out. I do that a lot in this session. I just, I recorded, I think, like, six games in this session. And I'm just d dividing them three for each episode. Um, but yeah, you saw us adjust the lineup there. And De Jong finds Seedorf, who finds Dos Santos, who plays it through to Nyang, and he scores... He shoots it right into the bottom left corner, right across the goalkeeper to put us up 1-0 in the 15th minute. And uh, it was it was some good play, De Jong finding Seedorf, and this was a very good ball from Dos Santos. And uh, I think I'm going to be playing Dos Santos a lot more than I did last season because I'm a big fan of Dos Santos in this game. And in real life, I'm pretty, I, I think I've seen him play a few times and I've seen like highlight reels of him, and he's a very promising player. But uh, in, in FIFA 14, I do uh, enjoy him a lot. Uh, also, I want to take a quick chance to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all the people. Uh, it was two days ago, but I've been busy over the past two days, so I couldn't make a video. And uh, I wanted to make a Merry Christmas video with Perks here. Gabby Adini has a header, and the keeper saves, and then it gets cleared. Uh, I wanted to make one with Perks, but he's going away for a week uh, for the Christmas. Here, they get played through, and they shoot well wide. And um, But yeah, that's that. So uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, but yeah, so back to the game here. Nangalan plays it to DeSena, who plays it to Ibarbo. And then he has a shot, which Ter Stegen saves, which is a brilliant save, keeping us in the game and keeping us 1-0 up. And uh, I was actually, I don't know why I kept skipping the replays. I was just really uh, anxious, I guess. But here they have a corner. And uh, 
We try and clear it, but they get it, and Erickson passes it to Paulinho, who decides to have a shot, and what a shot it is into the top left corner, and I... I was I was upset, but uh, but like, I was upset that I conceded, but I couldn't be because that was such a good goal. There was no way any keeper in the world was saving that. Um, so yeah, hats off to Paulinho, not the one at Spurs, the striker who's in the Syria, and um, yeah, hats off to him because he uh, he had a brilliant goal. And uh, here, Yanuzai, who gets subbed on, has a great chance, but he shoots just wide, and uh, that is how the game ends, 1-1. And I was okay with that, because I never get good results against Cagliari in FIFA. Ever since I've started playing FIFA, I've always had trouble against Cagliari for some reason. But we are coming to the end of the video, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and share it to your friends and all that good stuff. Uh, also, we have a main channel. Go check it out. Link will be in the description. We do gameplays. I'm doing the Assassin's Creed series right now. And uh, Perks is doing Resistance, the first one, and he's going to be doing the second one, and then the third one co-op with me. So, yeah, go check out our main channel. Please like, subscribe, and in the next episode, we will be facing Real Madrid. Peace.